What's up my friends? Welcome back to our blind let's play of The Witcher 2. Here we are with Geralt and we are outside of the Kedwani camp. We're over here by the Rot Fiend contract. I'm gonna try to start this, see if we can find all the bodies. I know there's a few over here where we first came in from the other side on the other path, but I could imagine it's probably all over these hills. Back in here, I... That's what I'm guessing at least, but what I want to actually do is I want to get this blood curse done because this seems like a main mission and I don't think we have too much other stuff and look like lost lambs oh well the lost lambs is a side quest but it doesn't really tell us where it is so we're gonna have to stumble upon it but I could probably imagine that it's in these areas that we did not explore yet so let's mark the blood curse Search the site of Sabrina Glevisig's execution. Alright. Let's actually read that. At the time, King Hengsalt suffered from an embarrassment affliction, namely, he had been cursed by the sorcerer Sabrina Glevisig, whom he had executed for making a grave error of her magical practice. Witchers are experts on curses and can generally figure out how to lift them, but even they need a pointer sometimes. Geralt headed to the site of the stake at which Sabrina had been burned to lift the curse he needed to learn exactly how the execution played out then he would need to recreate it using very items that had been used during that event all right well we're gonna try to do that let's go over here bust some freaking rot fiends asses Take that. come here fiend let's get silver out shall we got a problem with me fiend Oh yeah, blow your friends up. See ya. Goodbye, fiend. Alright, let's burn this corpse. It looked like there was nine corpses to burn. Where's Sabrina's site? I kind of vaguely remember where it is. So we would have to go behind roaches and down this path. All right. Well, since we know where that is, let's just mark the rot fiend one. Because that's one corpse down. Two corpses down. See, there's more up here. Actually, let's level up before we go any further. Let's see, what could we use? Speed of Vigor during combat. Let's do that for now. And then we will work our way on this side and over here. So that's 10%. The next one's 40. We may actually get the next one and then start. Because what is this? Damage reduction. See, but this is useful. Whirl is useful and so is sword damage. So we'll go that side next. See if there's any more corpses. There's two. This is three. And they're kind of just right here. Let's see about going to kill this, um... Ericus. Remember the Ericus that was over here? But then again, I wonder if this camp has... Information where we came in last time. Remember the camp? Where we found some kind of note up here? Oh, get when he soldiers. What's up, soldiers? I have no bloody idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. I'm an asshole. That's who I am. Look at this guy. <laughs> Fucking Hello. hanging it out. Greetings. Greetings. That is probably in the fog. Let me say before I go in there and get my ass whooped. And where is this leading? Uh oh, we might found a nook. So that's taking us down here ish. Alright, well, we need to get to the. <laughs> just running fucking circles now. 
We need to get to this other side and find this Ericus. Oh, I see some rot fiends over there. Where is that Neckers? Oh, that's Neckers. Oh, hell no. You don't know me. Man, he's pissed. Follow me to the ends of the earth. Hell yeah, let's get down here and whoop some ass. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Fucking 70 miles away. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. You guys didn't have your fill from Flotsam? Hell yeah, let's get down here and whoop this Ericus up. Excuse me. <laughs> Holy, it kind of hurt a little bit. Come on, sucker. Nothing to see here. We got steel out? No, we got silver out. Whoa, close one. He was definitely harder this time. Though I don't really have the Oathbreaker armor yet. Mage gloves? Hell yeah. Ericus eye, Ericus armor, and trophy. Thank you. Well, we got the other side over here. Mutagen. Let's not go over there yet because maybe something will... Maybe a quest will put us in this area over here. If not, I say let's go about this way and explore to get over to where Sabrina's thing is. Because that seems to be in a general area. This could be counter-reacting the uh, path here. If there is anything over there, we will find it later, but let's go this way. The Elder and the Recruiter. Oh, so Vernon has some different stuff. So I figured to check in with people while we're over here. Vernon, I'm looking for the plotters who are out to get Hansel. How are things, Vernon? Quiet. Nothing to talk about, really. Like everybody else, I'm waiting to see how events unfold. Why not stop waiting and try setting something in motion? My people are combing the area for Letho, who seems to have vanished. There's nothing else I can do. What are you up to? Busy as ever. I need to lift the fog of specters, reverse Sabrina's curse, and find out who's behind the plot to assassinate Henselt. I never thought I'd see you so eager to help Henselt. Coincidence. Our interests happen to have aligned. Hmm. What interest might you have in tracking down this plot? I get the feeling it's all linked. If I can't get to the bottom of this plot, I'll be unable to lift the curse and never recover my past. In any case, I wonder who's behind it. Well, I know where the plotters meet. If you want to learn more, come with me. That would be a grave error. A captain of the Temerian army shouldn't meddle in the domestic matters of another state. I thought that's exactly what they pay you to do. Sorry, Geralt. This time I truly cannot help. Come on, Vernon! Conspiracy theory? Can I think of this? Wanna go for round two, girl? Hell yeah. Look at her. Vess is so cool looking. Badass. Alright, let's try to see if we can go over here then, perhaps. It looked like an area. I mean, we got this stuff up here, but we already explored some of that. And that's where Sabrina's is. But let's look at this back nook area-ish. Oh yeah, come here, Roddy. Can't fucking hit me. Nothing but fucking mince meat. Oh, there's a corpse here. Hold on, let's get Rod Fiend contract on board again. So that's four. Hell yeah, look at these guys. Damn. You guys having fun? How many more? 
We got a rot fiend on our side, boys. Pull your legs out of your arse! Fucking rot fiends are everywhere. Do we have any more corpses anywhere over here? There is a fog. Oh, the fog. Let's not go into that. Hey, you guys see any it. corpses? I need to burn them. Hello. Hello. There's one burn here. Oh, there's one. Oh, we're in combat now. Come here, sir. Time to get whooped. Oh, yeah, there's another one here. And then one here, and then we just need one more or two more. So we just need two more now. Any more Some corpses over here? There's one. Oh, blasted. oh you're fucking sleeping. <laughs> oh, the burn is ass. So we need. Wait, we need three more? Did I not burn this corpse? So we need three more corpses. All right, well, let's look in these hills, I guess. I don't fucking know. Where are we even at? This is a small nook. We have something over here that we're going to need to check out. Hey, what's up, troll? Oh. Holy. Damn You're not monsters. friendly? Oh, my goodness. You fucking wrecked me. Come on, troll. Man, I hate that we're actually fighting a troll. Can't hit me, sucker. Come on in. You got me that time, though. Come on, ugly. <laughs> Did he knock himself out? This guy is fucking pissed. Hell yeah. See ya, troll. Damn, I wish we didn't have to kill a troll, friends. I don't really think he gave us much choice there. He just fucking wrecked us. See any fucking dead bodies anywhere, Stroll? Alright, well that would be that area. Let's see. Let's go towards this area and then... Not really sure what all this is. I have a feeling these bodies are going to be hard to find. Hey man, don't hey. hock one on me. Hello. Good evening. So this is another way here, but that looks like it goes right into the fucking fog. Yeah, the fog's up here. At least I think it is. Yeah, the fog's going. Let's not go in there. I don't see any more bodies anywhere. And then this is just nothing. All right. A super soldier serum or what? Have fun, fellas. 
Enjoy yourselves. Alright, so that was the troll area. We have... Any more bodies around? We'll hang a left up here and then hang another left because I believe... Sabrina's obviously down there. That's what we're going to do in time. But we're going to cover the area first. This is what we got. This leads us to the cabin. But hanging another left here is another area we did not explore yet. Forest ravines. Hell yeah, harpies. Oh, it was just easy to get harpies? Guess I wish I would have explored now. Because we only need a few feathers. Come here, harpy. Oh, here we go. Come here, ma'am. There's two feathers. I think I need six. And that's three. But we could use more harpies on board here. Hell yeah, I fucking love exploring, man. Here we go. Got some bandits on board. Hey, man. Don't be so rude. Goodbye. He's sitting there laughing and getting killed at the same time. See ya. Oh, that was so fucking badass. Good riddance. Guys, yeah, you seen any bodies to burn? Timber. I don't want that fucking shit. Oh, you better keep that timber. Wait, what was that? Was that a harpy? So, here we go. So that's four harpy feathers. We need two more. Where is this leading us? That's the fog. Secret entrance to something here. What the hell is this? So there's... We're not even on the map here, but we're probably over in this stuff. Alright, well, I'm gonna head back to where Sabrina's stuff is. So technically on Yorvith's path, if we opted to go ahead and walk around and explore everything, we probably wouldn't have found another quest. Because we literally just opened everything up. I can't get back in here. I don't know what opens this up. It doesn't seem like there's a place to get back in there. But if there's no quest on this side, then that's pretty much it. So we didn't really miss anything then. Let's get over here and start this quest because I am super intrigued for this quest. This seems to be the most one I've been really intrigued about. Excuse me, sirs. Oi, what you doing here? I need to inspect this place. They're looking for you. Are these the two soldiers? Oh, they are. I heard Zivik can't wait for you to get back. Plow it all. If we miss muster, he'll have us flogged. Get us out of here, will you? You came here on your own. You can get back on your own. This place is crawling with droners. I mean, we'd have stayed in our tents on our arses if we'd known. We're safe in the circle, but three feet outside? And who knows what would happen. All right, we'll go back together, but let me look around first. Apparently, it's bad luck to tread on the ashes. What am I looking around? Strange aura. Let's take a closer look. Oh, cool. Carved from a solid piece of stone, 
Reusable, you could say. Candles, amulets, coins. People make offerings here like they would at a shrine. Candles. The stench is worse than Zoltan's boots. Nothing unusual about them otherwise. Square coins adorned with a fish. I guess the plotters like to come here. Let's see. An unnatural stillness typical of intersections and places where streams of the power meet. Unnerving, but harmless. People seem to be staying away from the wheel. They're afraid. All the gifts are at a safe distance from it. Except for one person. With Kedweni Army Issue boots. Glad to know I'm not the only one to desecrate this site. Animal tracks. Dogs. Wolves. Bears, even birds. You'd think this was a feeding ground, but they all fear the circle. Except for cats. Their tracks are everywhere. One even napped on the pedestal. Triss once told me cats like to sleep on intersections. And they're the only beasts apart from dragons who can draw the power. They clearly like this place. Examine the wheel. Sabrina was nailed to this wheel. Something protected the wheel from the flames. It's hardly scorched. Hmm. Fresh holes and splinters. Someone's pulled nails from the wheel recently. I better take one, just in case. I need to bring the king here. I need to reenact the execution. If I can only summon Sabrina's ghost, I could force her to lift the curse. The Draugrs and the Mist will remain, but at least the king will be safe. I need to know what happened here. Witnesses of the execution, they're the key. If I can just find out how Sabrina died, I should be able to free Henselt of the curse. Two leads. Sabrina's cultists and the Nail Thief, who's obviously immune to the aura of this place. Time to question some soldiers. So a Nail Thief and... The Plotters. Is there anything else I can look at? Who cares enough to bring all these things here? People seem to like her, I don't know. She... Is like a Nothing interesting. fucking goddess now to some of these people, it seems. I mean, look at these guys, they're praying to Sabrina. Who cares enough to bring all these things here? Man, that was so cool how Geralt was examining that and talking, kind of like talking to himself. But indirectly talking to us, I guess. Come on, man, let's get out of here. You've looked and touched your fill, right? Let's get out of here. Did you light those candles? We did. What's it to you? Burning them for Sabrina? To you! Tis a waste of time, right? Feel their eyes on you. They're watching us. We won't get out alive, superstitious idiots that we are. Don't you believe the visionary? You don't have to. But it was with her try, right? Old idiot. It's his fault we ended up here. Who is this visionary? He's behind all this. He talks of miracles in the circle. I believe him. Know why? He lives deep in the valleys, but something protects him from all those harpies. How did you manage to avoid the Drowners on your way here? The Visionary was with us. He led us through, then left. Did you see them burn the Sorceress? Three years ago! We both served under Henselt then. But only the Fifth Company guarded the stake. They say the King never wanted to make a spectacle. Some soldiers never come here, but others visit the Circle to check the remains. You're just like them. To you, it's only a superstition to make money from. You're looking for old nails in the ashes. Like that shitbag who trades outside the inn? You're mistaking me for someone else. Really? Then give us the nail. Give them the nail? Or keep it? I think we should probably keep it, to be honest with you. We may need it for the investigation here. That'll be like us. That could be important. 
it could be as important as that shard was inside that guy's arm in the uh Yorvith's path you know the shard that pretty much pointed Eliwas as the killer so if we give up this nail we might not Nah, we're keeping it. It's too important. I'm keeping it. Keeping it? Not heard what they say? Relics are like fist tech for simple folk. I don't like this place. Thought you'd want to stay the night here. I know at least a few places I'd rather sleep. Come on. Come on. Why they've been fighting over these hell holes for generations. I get goosebumps every time I go outside the palisade. Guess Zvik was right. We should have sat on our arses. You'll be whistling a different tune when the mist lifts and we attack Vergen. The visionary's a right bastard leaving us here. I believe him. He says he hears voices. My nan heard voices too. Her mouth would froth up like a dog's and she'd shit all over. When my old man couldn't take it anymore, he axed the hag to death. Shut your gob. Come on, let's get out of here, scums. What's with people pooping their pants on this side? Oh, hell yeah. Come on. Holy. Fucking wheeling. Did you guys want to help? I don't think so. Take pointers, kid, when he's... You're gonna need it because all them doors are gonna bust your asses. <laughs> Not many drowners in this game. Compared to Witcher 1. I'm kind of happy about that because they seem to be honestly the hardest enemy in the damn game. <laughs> Drowner lairs. Not the best spots for picnics. We gotta take these guys all the way back to... Curses on him! If it wasn't for you that have eaten us! We owe you our lives, Witcher. We can't let Zivik catch us. Don't shit your pants. Sabrina saved us from the monsters. So what's one little Zivik to her? Let's get back to Zivik then. And turn this in. And then look for this visionary person? Or whatever the hell that is? Them guys said he has a house in the hills somewhere, but I didn't see any house besides the house that we already seen. Life can be really so I can't imagine... I fought the guy. I'm not sure. Unless it could be on that side. Well, it was here yesterday. That guy's still looking for something. I'm telling you that has something to do with something. It's gotta be some kind of quest thing. Or something. He reminds me of the uh, talking dwarf in the uh, the inn from Vergen's side. The one that said he kept seeing somebody fall out of sky. I'm done with this cursed place. Come here, Zivi. What do you want, Witcher? The soldiers you were looking for, they got held up for a while at Sabrina's circle. Ah, oh, the idiots! To be duped by witchcraft and superstitions. I'll put them to scrubbing the latrines indefinitely. But uh, I thank you for bringing them back. Your reward, as promised. I heard there's a man living outside the camp known as the Visionary. Ever met him? The soldiers talk about him, but I've never seen him. If I ever do, he'll regret that he fooled my people with all those superstitions. Did you see Sabrina's execution? Wish I could have. But only the fifth company was sent there. She deserved it. What she did to the boys. Believe me, I've seen a lot of monstrosities in my life. My brother died during a coup in Rhind when a mage boiled the blood in his veins. Also, I once saw a soldier raping a dead elf woman. But three years ago, people melted like lead. Something you can't forget, Witcher. There's a soldier by the inn selling scraps from Sabrina's execution site. I know. The damn quartermaster. This business of his muddles the minds of the soldiers. Suddenly, everyone believes a splinter in your pocket will protect you in battle. Halfwits. After what happened here three years ago, it's no surprise they're terrified. I'll tell you one thing, Witcher. 
In combat, I can count on my shield, my armor, and my comrades, if they still live. Many of those boys will die in Vergen, even with their pockets stuffed with mystical splinters that cost a silver piece each. I want them to be afraid. When steel hits steel, I want them to be alert, damn it! If they're dumb and put their trust in rusty nails and ashes, they won't have a hope in hell. True enough, Zivi. So long. Alright, well, we need a path here. Let's find this visionary. Go see either the visionary or the relic vendor. I want to see this visionary. He sounds more interesting than the relic vendor. Plus, if we're just getting relics, we seem to already have nails. Where's that pointing at? Outside? It's got to be outside somewhere. So the vendor is here, obviously, in the inn, and he is over on this side. Cool. Well, good thing we didn't actually go over well, there. We may have triggered yesterday. something. All right. Well, let's keep our eye out for more of the corpses because we are six of nine on the... Hell yeah, place of power. We're six of nine, and these ones are burned up. Is there any corpses over here anymore? We went this way already. I did not see any corpses over there. I don't know. They're probably going to be hidden, man. I can just sense it. Looking for these corpses is going to be a whole ordeal. Unless they're back in here. Could be. But I doubt it. It seems like I feel like they're kind of close to the area over there. Man, this is cool. Hidden Nook. Hell yeah! How many more can there be? Am I stuck here? See so, ya! Yeah. Thanks for your help, Witcher. We were in a tight spot there. The rot fiends are multiplying like rabbits. We were on our way to see the visionary, bearing gifts and all. But I'll be damned if I'll take one more step that way. Wouldn't be on your way to see him, would you? If you are, give him this coin for us. Ah, do what you will. Go see the visionary. So give him the coin. Hell yeah, there's a corpse. Go see the visionary. Did we already burn that one? So there's two corpses here. We're still one short. Oh, there's a corpse over there. Get your reward from Proximo. Hell yeah. And then somebody said... Our hero found a letter incriminating that the soldiers have been carrying money to the visionary in payment for candles, and indeed, aside from the scrap paper, the witcher also found a pouch, one with a pleasing heft. Since there was little else to do where he stood, Gilt resumed his trip to see the hermit. Go see Proximo. Hold on here. Did we get a letter? This is, was on Sabrina's altar area. Saint Sabrina, I humbly beg you to hear my supplication. Grant me, O oh, fair lady, your blessing and protection. Seen to save me from the snares of my enemies and from all dangers. And then the nail relic. So that's a quest item. We would have gave up a quest item? Oh, hell no. It, it seemed like it was too important to just give up to some soldiers. As for the candle payment, we humbly admit that we've no more money. We'll obtain the remaining amount as fast as possible. Cool. Alright, visionary, come here. I got a bone to pick with you. So I wonder, friends, what would have happened 
But this is the Visionary's Hut. Let's go over here first. Well, now let's go to the Visionary's Hut first because he may... Something might... Maybe he gives us a quest to go to the other place. I have no idea. Hell yeah, Harpies. You'll be safe here. Safe where? Over here, inside the candles. Oh hell no, we're whooping Harpy's ass. Quick, you'll be safe here. Over here, inside the candles. Hold on, man. Let me whoop some ass here. Shit, you stay. Quick, you'll be safe here. <laughs> Over here, inside the candles. <laughs> Quick, you'll be safe here. He's... Are they endless here? Hell yeah. Over here, inside the candles. So this is all we had to do. Come up here and explore to this. We would have definitely got Quick, some harpies. You'll be safe here. All right, man, let me get the harpy stuff. Over here, inside the candles. Yeah, yeah, come on. Quick, you'll be safe here. All right, I'm coming. Oh, they're everywhere. Over here. Let's just get inside the candles. This guy will not keep it down. We're safe here. I awaited them. They were to come bearing gifts. I heard their cries. Guess they were attacked. If they're not here, they must be dead. They're alive, here's your coin. Um, I'm not gonna steal the guy's coin. We might as well just give it to him. No, they're alive. They didn't want to risk it anymore, went back to camp. They asked me to give you this coin, for candles. This is but half. Why I'll not do more than braid some wicks for this? What do you want from me? I'll not believe you came here by chance. Yeah, you're right. I need to learn some things, and few are willing to talk. Sabrina Glevisig's story, that's what interests me most. Listen, I'll not speak with you until I get my coin. Pure and simple. Though I do provide charitable help to the faithful, if you were to become one of them. We need to change the subject. Join his faith. Would you take a donation? We can give him money, but I want to see what this faith thing's about, honestly. I've heard a lot of good things about you. All right, I'll become a follower. Wonderful. Listen then, for I'll not say this twice. If your intentions are pure, you will do as I ask. Each convert must pass a test. You will spend the night at the old chapel near Sabrina's pupils. Where? Twin Lakes I have named in our honor. Is that all? Before you kneel to meditate, you will drink the mixture I shall give you. You must then remember all that occurs. That's very important, as you'll need to recount it to me fully. All right, I'll come back once I'm done. Go to Sabrina's shrine in the evening and drink the visionary's potion. Visionary's notes two, visionary notes three. Well, let's pick up his notes. But that's two and three. Should we read them? Well, hold on. What does he want us to do? Go to Sabrina's shrine? Where the fuck is that at? Girl was in no mood to pay the visionary, so he decided to become a member of the cult of Sabrina Glevisig. Instead, hoping it would cost him nothing, a mistake if he ever made one. The initiation ritual required him to spend the night by a shrine. Then our hero was to return and tell the visionary what he saw. No problem, right? But there was one more thing. First, he had to drink a herbal infusion of the visionary's making. One supposedly brings visions. Oh, hell yeah. This is going to be crazy, probably. My road to the light, the second fragment. We nailed Miss Glevisig to the wheel. You know, let's wait until we get the first one, actually. Go ahead and just read them. Why they're in the inventory. And... Wait till we get another one. Maybe he'll give us another one. Where you want us to go, man? Huh? What other matters? Holy! Who are you? 
Our descendants will decide who we were when they see what we've left behind. The valley's been engulfed by a battle of specters. Know anything about it? It's a place of horror. You can still hear the sound of steel and the cries of the dying. If you want to soothe their pain, you have to believe that Sabrina is watching over you benevolently. I won't achieve anything without some memory tokens. Magically active conduits left by those who fell in battle. They're supposed to symbolize faith, courage, hatred, and death. Faith? I don't know what those soldiers believed, but their faith didn't help them. They were deceived. Courage, hatred, and death? There was too much of all of them, especially death. But I remember a knight who, ignoring the danger, led a handful of soldiers against overwhelming enemy forces. Seltkirk of Gullet, Demavan's champion. When Vandergrift's cohort cut him off from the rest of the army, he attacked the visitor fearlessly. If you're looking for a symbol of courage, find Seltkirk's armor. Who were you before? What does it matter? Let the sins of youth fade into oblivion. Look at the candlelight. Feel it, and you'll hear what it has to say to you. I can't hear a thing. Then you're not ready. But your time will come. You will then hear and understand. Trust me. Why do you need so many candles? Why not build a campfire? This is Sabrina's flame. Its light protects us and guides us soldiers every step. Did you rob a convoy of wax sellers? I make the candles myself. I give them to anyone looking for protection within the flame of courage. So long. Ask around the Kid Winnie camp about Selkirk's armor. We already did. We already know that some guy named Trout has the armor. What do you say we gotta go do? Meditate by something? Oh, hell yeah. Five orins. A big ass chest for five fucking orins. Hold on here. We gotta drink his potion. Where's the shrine at? Maybe it's back. Let's look. Oh, it's over here. So we would've went over there and discovered the shrine beforehand then. No, no, Harpies. Have a good day. Does this go somewhere too? This kind of goes around, it looks like. Alright. Magic or danger. Pretty interesting quest so far. I like it a lot. Can't wait to actually get Hensold around. Holy. Carol said he needs to bring Hensold to the uh, area. Hey man, take it easy. Wheeling and dealing, even with this old gear on. It's crazy that the first Dark armor gear is actually still effective even in this chapter. I can imagine that we probably don't have much of this chapter left. Besides, I mean, we got all the groundwork done. We are going to need it before we get into the, uh, the one area, the fog. We'll definitely need better armor then. Where the fuck does this lead us now? So this leads us around, but we don't want to go that way. So we're looking for a shrine here. Go to the shrine in the evening and drink- oh! Hello. Come on, sucker. That right in that trap. Ah, you big dummy. Come on in, there's another trap right there. Oh, he sees it.
Hell yeah, Ericas are cool, man. Look at them. Big ass pineapple bugs. More Ericus armor. And we just need to meditate till nighttime then. Sabrina Shrine and evening. Alright, well let's do that. Meditate to midnight, perhaps. Now let's drink a potion. Visionary's potion. Oh goodness. I'm too old for this. Oh my goodness. It's freaking dildo fucking mushrooms and a big ass chicken. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, don't know that anybody needs to know about that one. Tell the visionary about your vision. Visionary's notes one. Hell yeah. Well, let's go ahead and read them now. My path to the light. First fragment. I must repent after the years spent living in error. No soldierly vice was too vile for me. Drinking my years of service, I embraced gambling, alcohol, sloth, lies, and evil profanity. I took lies and not just when ordered. I was cruel. Today I see clearly that I had sunk into the darkness from the depths of which I could not see the light. Miss Sabrina Glevesig, bright and pure as a goddess, shone like the light of a candle in the blackest night. She always supported the soldiers and tried to draw me onto the path of righteousness, yet I was blind to the light. We nailed Sabrina Glevesig to the wheel. We pierced her slender hands and throttled her narrow waist with a rope. The prior was readied beforehand. Hensel laughed and encouraged us to mock her. So we did as the flames licked the wood. I looked into her bright eyes, yet I could not see no fear in them, only peace. I trembled for the first time. I trembled once again as the flames themselves starved. The fire would not accept the victim, then Hensel ordered to feed the flames with more wood. The branches were wet, and the smoke snug our eyes, filling us with remorse. Through the flames, I could see Miss Glevesig suffocating, and I tremble for the third time. I grabbed the spear used to push the wood on the fire, unmindful of the heat. I scaled the flaming wood and pierced her heart. Thus, I was transformed in the fire. So the visionary was the one that actually killed Sabrina out of pity. He didn't want to see it happen anymore, so he kind of put her out of her misery. And so it was furious that I had ruined the spectacle. I was beaten to a pulp. Soon I was stripped of my rank, and those I had thought friends turned on me. I started drinking more than ever and sank into sloth. So I was regularly punished. I spent all my free time in solitary until one day as I sat with a bottle of foul spirits. Staring at a sizzling candle stuck. I understand that it all had happened for a reason. I had a calling. The flicker that Miss Glevesig had lit within me spread over my heart and burned with the flame of faith. All right. Well, that was very interesting reading. So the visionary was the one that actually put her out of her misery. Interesting guy. I'm happy we didn't just pay him because we wouldn't have got that cool ass scene with the giant fucking cocks. <laughs> What the fuck? This game is funny, man. Alright, let's go back to the visionary then. Though I kind of want to check up here real quick. See. Hold on. Was it here? Yeah, I want to see what this is. See if this goes around. Or if there's anything big that we can fight up here. Been observing you for a while now. <laughs> and? Just wondering if I can bring you in alive. And get a higher reward, you know. Well, you can't. Damn shame, I'd say. 
Let's get Haze on board here. So yeah, come on. Holy. Oh, we're bleeding. Come here, Meiji. Oh, you got your shield up. Get that puny shield down. I don't really see another way to get rid of this damn shield. Careful. He defeated the king's guard. Besides, just keep on hitting it. Oh, come on with your shield. At him! For the ring of gold in your pouches! I honestly think the mages in this game are more or less more annoying than actually hard. Their shield is like unkillable at times. You kind of had to wheel fast enough to get them from putting it back up. Let me regen stuff here because he's healing himself. Come on, scum. Fucking fight me, you wimp. In your pouches. Do they have anything? Silver ore, hell yeah. Alright, well, let's get back to the visionary then. Oh, you're not getting me, harpies. Get them out of here, visionary. They're looking at you funny. Huh? What other matters? I did what you asked. Tell me what you saw. <laughs> so bring the, the last battle of Vergen, a strange forest with a giant hen. You may think I'm as mad as you are, but in my vision I walked through a forest where the trees were huge mushrooms and a giant chicken walked between them, pecking at the underbrush. You have no idea how happy I am. I've been having this vision of a giant hen among mammoth mushrooms for weeks. I thought I'd lost it, gone insane. Turns out my herbs must have gone off. I need to gather new ones, but that's my concern. Ask me what you will. You must know a lot about Sabrina Glevisig's death. Uh, Sabrina the Martyr left the world of the living to protect us all. Did you hear about the curse Sabrina cast on the king? Of course. A well-deserved punishment. A ghostly spell from her crimson lips. The king concocted a cruel fate for the sorceress. Humiliated her, made her suffer the flames. Bound to a wheel and placed on the stake. She suffered in a way unimaginable to ordinary humans. But when the flame reached her maiden waist, not a single cry could be heard. Only words foretelling King Hensel's imminent demise. Let a shooting star split the heavens and mark its mortal journey with a braid of blood. Let fools be duped by the sight of fish scales, turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules, prompting a just punishment. Sabrina suffered so badly that a merciful soldier ended her torment, thrusting his spear into her aching heart. Why the candles? What's the difference between Sabrina and other mages burned at the stake? Others were strong in life. Her power bloomed when death wrapped its steely arms around her. She took the soldier who ended her suffering under her kind care. He never had to fear walking alone in the dark again. Have you seen the area? It's full of beasts and monstrosities. Jahan, the merciful soldier, has walked in the blaze of our power ever since. No creature born of darkness can get close to him. 
Now, back to some other matters. Tell me again what you know about Sabrina. What exactly do you want to know? All right, so he has nothing else. Any chance of finding that spear? It was so long ago, Witcher. But I believe the spear went to another soldier. The bugger sells relics from Our Lady by the Camp Inn. I know who you mean. So we go back to him and get the... So long. The uh, spear now. You got anything else? Huh? Uh. What other matters? So long. All right, my friends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save here. When we get back, I'll be obviously in the camp by the uh, cantina. I'm going to go ahead and craft the armor, which we can finally get, I believe, now. But I'm really looking forward to getting to the rest of this blood curse because it's been such an interesting quest. Awesome quest so far. But anyways, take it easy out there. Have a good one, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Stay safe.